What's up, fam? Today, Jamil and I are doing a shopping haul at a local grocery store. And since we have moved to Las Vegas, so many people have been telling us to go to Winco. We never had a Winco in California where we were at. Not saying there isn't a Winco somewhere in California. <laughs> California is a huge state, but definitely where we were from, Bay Area, we did not see a Winco anywhere. So people have been saying, go to Winco, go to Winco. It's a really cool store. Uh, so we want to check it out and see what they have. Jamil and I have a list of state items we need to get uh, we're pretty empty in our fridge very very empty <laughs> in our fridge um, so we have a little list of stuff but we also just want to explore the store and just see what they have to offer so come on in um, let's get some groceries and then at the end you guys can guess how much we paid for them I am curious to see if the prices here at Winco are cheaper than our California prices yeah I've seen like pictures online of Winco yeah and it reminds me of like a smart and final kind of yes I'm not 100% sure if it is but smart, smart and final yes, like was all over the Bay Area mm -hmm. um, it's kind of an in-between between like a regular grocery store like Safeway or Vons or something mm -hmm. and like a Costco a little warehouse. It's kind of warehousey, a little bit. Fun fact, didn't mm -hmm. we see a Smart and Final here in Vegas yeah. though too? They have them here so, too. So yeah, so Las Vegans, you should probably know about Smart and Final too. Yes. Uh, but That's again, true. we didn't have one coke to compare it. So Yeah, so I'm ready excited. to go. It's kinda like Food Max, I bet. Yes. Food Max was big in the Bay Area, which was, mm -hmm. I think, like Winco. It was kind of like a grocery outlet, too. So yes. we're just like throwing out, we had grocery outlet, we had Food yeah. Max, right? They were yeah. like similar. So exactly. we don't really know what to expect entirely. Yeah. But we did say that, uh, we did read a sign that says it was an employee-owned store. Sure employee-owned company. Exactly. So shout out to Winco already, because I think that's super cool. That's true. Yeah. That's a good point. So let's go in. Let's get some stuff. Are you ready? All right, you guys. We'll see you in just a second. Yay! Made it! Employee owned. You ready? I am ready. Let's get it. Let's do it. I think good that's prices. a steal. These are good prices. Two dollars and thirty-eight cents. I know. I'm looking at bagels. Two eighteen. What? It's pretty good. This is crazy. I know. Do we need bread? No, I don't think we do. Oh, okay. <laughs> You guys, I'm freaking out. Okay, this Greek yogurt is only one dollar and ninety-eight cents. That's a steal. In California, this would be at least four ninety-nine, maybe even five ninety-nine. Actually, this you're right. You're right. It is. Yes, we're getting it. Okay, let's do it. We are walking all through the fruits and vegetables section a second ago, and the prices were so inexpensive, you guys. Look at Wait, this. They were? they were really inexpensive. Oh, inexpensive. Inexpensive, yes. I was yes. like, man, <laughs> this is like a steal. Okay. I know. I got these lemons. These things were 33 cents, I think. A pound? Each, or for a pound. Wait, was it each or a pound? It was each. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. 33 cents each, That's I'm sure. Good. But it's still, it's really well, good. Well, it's 50, right? I know. Yeah. Now, I think they're a little bit smaller, mm -hmm. so that kind of sucks, but honestly, for the most part, it's a steal, you guys. Really, really quick, I want to show off my outfit of the day. I got this dress from Fashion Nova. How cute is this? I love it. I had this shrug already, but I love how it looks, and it's super comfortable. It's kind of like a sweater dress, but you can take it off for the summer. It's a little cold right now, so I have it, but anyways, I love it. I think it's super cute. What do you think, babe? I love Love it. And I got the shoes from Fashion Nova too. Oh yeah, just that's right. Little sandals. Those look I good. Tan, but anyways, <laughs> I just wanted to show you how what the outfit of the day was in the grocery store. That's good. Let's go. Okay, let's keep going. Back to work. So you guys, as we're walking down row by row, aisle by aisle, I am noticing this is giving me like Costco vibes because this is like a warehouse setting, it's but it's not really bulk. So I like that because, you know, Jamil and I just being a family of two, um, you know, we don't need like those big bulk family kind of deals, but I do think the prices are really, really good. <gasps> yes. Oh my God, you guys. 
they got Chick-fil-A sauce. Chick-fil-A sauce. Actually, you guys should try this. If you haven't before, it's actually really good. Only $3.48. Did you want to get it? Um, no. Uh, We've had so much. We've had a lot. So you guys, we used to eat Chick-fil-A, as you know, all the time in our videos. We are a little over Chick-fil-A at the moment, but when I am craving it again, yes, I want that. Oh, you guys, this is literally the best jam. This is awesome. They're like miniature jams of these Bonnie Mamas, Mamans or whatever like that. I, I talked about this on one of the videos, but this is like the mini version of it. I might grab a couple of these. Only 88 cents. So, so far we've been doing really well. We got a good amount of stuff for a great price. Um, so I think Jamil and I are headed over to the dairy and the meat sections to see what kind of selections they have. Okay guys, I found these keto waffles for $3.98 and I'm a little scared, but I'm gonna try them. You guys, this thing is light. This thing is like, <laughs> it's crazy. I mean, it's it's literally like, feel that. I don't think I'm holding anything. I know, it feels like you're holding air, right? Yeah, it's very light. It's crazy. Um, okay, well, let's try it. You want keto? Yeah, let's try it. Right, I feel like we should try it. Okay. See how it is. We have walked around the store probably one and a half times. I think we're pretty much done. We got a lot of a lot of stuff. Let's check it out. So we're gonna wrap it up, you guys. I think we're gonna start heading to the checkout soon. Okay fam, we are back from our Winco shopping haul. And overall, we had a really great time in there. We were very, very impressed with the low prices. It definitely felt like you were uh, getting a steal on every single thing that you got there. We saw tons of families, tons of couples in there, a lot of people just filling up their whole carts with stuff. And I see why, it was amazing. Um, so look at all the stuff we got. I think we did really, really well. Um, Fun fact, we also stopped by Whole Foods on the way back because we needed some essentials that Winco didn't have, which we'll talk about in a second. It's not really a big deal, but we'll tell you. But um, overall, we did great. So we're super, super happy. So for all of this stuff, minus a few things at Whole Foods that I'm going to point out, uh, the Winco price was... $125.94. I think that is really, really good. Um, like I said, we were kind of going from some essential items. Uh, so I want to just point out a couple things that we really like to drink and eat from day to day. So um, let's see, I'll, I'll start with this. So I love having um, some egg whites handy. Yes, you can make egg whites from the eggs. I just always felt like it's kind of a waste of the eggs. I don't know when I just only do the egg whites. So I like to get just a little carton. And so I'll usually do like, one egg of something and then add some egg whites for some extra protein and volume which is really cool so I like to make a scramble in the morning and whatnot um so with that um, I did get these um I've gotten these before they're actually pretty good I don't know if you've had the just crack an egg uh, brand but they have like just some potatoes and meats and, and, and cheese in there very very easy put a little egg in here mix it up put it in the microwave and you got an easy breakfast uh that's if I'm not uh willing to make like an at-home scramble from scratch um, Jamil likes to put some heavy cream in his coffee, so we got some of that, which is great. And we got a lot of stuff for smoothies, you guys. So as you know, we do these uh, food reviews and mukbangs a lot. So off camera, we want to make sure that we get a lot of nutrients in. So we got a lot of smoothie stuff, so I want to show you that. So usually in our smoothies, we like to add some like coconut water for sure. And then we got a lot of frozen berries that we're going to put in there. So got some mixed berries here, got some pineapple, and then uh, we got some frozen cherries. So I think that's pretty neat. And then in terms of adding like the greens to the smoothies, which we think are really important, we got um, some baby spinach. 
And there we go. That's a, a lot of baby spinach. We like to add a couple handfuls of that um, in our smoothies. And then we add uh, a little bit of chia seeds. You get that fiber, which is really, really good. And that's what we got from Whole Foods, right? Yeah, so we got the chia seeds from Whole Foods. And we also got this goji berry powder from Whole Foods as well. <sighs> Super high in antioxidants, really, really good for you. And then the chia seeds are really, really good too. I'm looking at it now. Um, it's got a lot of magnesium in it and the fiber. Uh, chia seeds are just really nice to put in a smoothie. So we have that. And then from Whole Foods, really quick, we're just gonna add a little bit of this uh, Vega powder to it. It just has a tons of like all your vitamins, you know, your B12s and your C's and your potassium and your magnesiums. We never had um, this exact powder before, but we do like Vega. So we're just gonna put that in the smoothies. So anyways, we'll have smoothies in the morning. Uh, so we're really excited about that. Um, and then we just got some, you know, some to nosh on. Like I love these, um, Honey crisp apples. Honey crisp, in my opinion, are like the best apples. We've got some asparagus. We've got some berries. Jamil <laughs> made a little bit of a what do you Splurge? call it? Impulse buy? Impulse buy. I don't even know what this is. Uh, but... It's yogurt with s'more flavor yogurt. Oh, okay. But it's like it says flip, so you must flip something. Yeah, you flip the into the Greek yogurt. Yep. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's not healthy, but I'll take it. Yeah, why not? <laughs> oh, oh, also, we want to show you, we got this from Whole Foods. These are the probiotics that we take, you guys. Really important to keep your gut health good, um, especially if you're not eating all healthy foods like us, especially when we do our mukbangs. We have a lot of fried food, fattening food, things like that. So this really flushes your gut out, puts back the good uh, biotics that you need in there. Um, so we like this brand. Uh, but yeah, we got some Greek yogurt. Um, got some probiotic drinks that are good. Oh, uh, just in case we wanted to do like a super, you know, kind of easy like lunch thing. We just got a couple things from um, Whole Foods. Pre-packaged lunches here. Uh, so we got some turkey meatloaf and the re uh, spicy red pepper salmon. I think that looks pretty it good. It does look really good. Yeah. And also, can I tell them about one thing that I got? Yeah. So you guys, I wanted to try this. We got this from Winco too. Mm -hmm. This is called Virgil's. Um, they're like, they have like two different ones that I saw. It was the root beer, or sorry, the Dr. Pepper one. It's called Dr. Better, I'm assuming. It's Dr. Pepper. Yeah. And then I got the other one that's like a root beer one, mm -hmm. which it looks pretty good. Yeah. Zero sugar and, you know, never had it before. Never had that brand at all. Never had it before, but we'll I think see. it'll be good for it the It looks McClums. very natural. Um, and then we also got that Zevia. Is it Zevia? Oh, yeah, Zevia. Um, These it, are pretty good. Yeah, I don't think we've had that flavor before. No, so pretty much what these are, guys, are uh, sodas with, instead of regular sugar, I believe they use stevia. Yeah. And then somehow they get the name Zevia? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so I know also we have like a water cooler. We get uh, nice fresh water from a local business here, but we like to just get a couple of centers for the go. Um, got some hot sauce. Um, I got a couple of like pre-packaged uh, uh, lettuce uh premium like kind of salad stuff because I just want to make some salads. I have some really good dressing in the cupboard. So yeah, so it's kind of the majority of the stuff we got. Oh, really quick. So I told you that the Winco price was $125, right? Let me tell you the Whole Foods price. I tried to show you a little bit of what we got from Whole Foods. And how many things did we get? Oh yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you guys, we got 10 things from Whole Foods. The probiotics, the powders, you know, the chia seeds, all that added up to $162. That's crazy. It's 11 cents for 10 items. Um, these were like 40 bucks, you yeah. know, the probiotics are a lot. The powder was like 30 or 40. So things add up, but they're gonna last a while, so that's good. Yeah, and uh, just so about the probiotics too, because I'm sure a lot of people probably know about them and tr try them and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. These in particular we get because they're extra strength. Yeah. They have obviously all sorts of probiotics that you can buy that are way cheaper than this. Mm -hmm. But these that's are, true. you know, extra strength ones are very, very good. Very good. And uh, they're very, really effective. So we get those a lot. Yeah. Lot. So just a little bit of kind of what we do, you know, off camera to just like protect our health and our gut and things like that. So super yeah. excited. So we're good. We got our eggs. We got our egg whites. We got our smoothie stuff. Uh, we have some fruits. We got some, a little bit of snacks. Like I said, that Greek yogurt I'm super excited to try. I got yeah. some Greek yogurt, uh, mm -hmm. non fat vanilla. So that was only like two bucks, I think. So mm -hmm. I'm excited. And I got some blueberry, fresh blueberries. So I'm going to put that in for a little snack throughout the day. I'm just super excited. I think this looks really good. 
And I think we did good on this uh, food haul, on this grocery haul. What we do you think, did. I do want to say also, just so you guys know, mm -hmm. uh, we're probably going to go back to the store at some point to get... Uh, we have some dinners already, or I should say some food after mm -hmm. our mukbangs, before mm -hmm. and after our mukbangs. Mm -hmm. We're going to go to the store, probably grab a couple more things, like some sausages, yeah. but, you know, things like that. But for now, this is everything that we get that we have yeah. that we need all through the week that we know. Yeah, super excited. And I'm glad you got asparagus, too. Oh, I mean, yeah. I would say asparagus and broccoli are, like, our two favorite veggies, yeah. for sure. When yeah. you say so? Uh, you like broccoli. But... I don't, you don't like broccoli? Okay. <laughs> I'll eat it, but... I think broccoli is really good. It's okay. I, I, I prefer asparagus and yeah. Brussels sprouts. Yeah, okay. Those are my two greens. Brussels sprouts are really good, too. But broccoli's good. It's not It's not terrible, you know? So let us know how you think we did on this grocery haul. Um, let us know if you've had any of these products before and if you like them or not. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you guys next time for another uh, grocery haul video. Okay, cool. guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Share this carry. Let your friends know me know what the Kate and J fam are doing. And until next time, we hope you have a wonderful day, evening, or night. Whatever time it is out there, and we will see you in our next video. Bye.